Tom, for those of us who fly in uh, Florida where lightning is a fact of life, uh, being able to stay clear of it is not as easy as it would sound. Um, for quite a while, lightning detection has been kind of a one-horse game, but now with Avidyne in the mix, you guys pioneered the uh, first practical glass cockpits for GA, but now you're tackling uh, lightning detection issues. Tell us about the TWX 670. That's right, Jim. Uh, as you know, we've got our a TAS 600 sensor, and then we've uh, developed our MLB 700 data link, uh, and now we've moved on to doing a next generation of lightning detection system, and we wanted to do something that really added benefit that complements the strategic value of satellite data link weather. And this new system is uh, a tactical lightning detection system, and the reason we call it that is because it's able to detect lightning from zero to 200 nautical miles more critically from that zero to 25 mile range where typical legacy systems were unable to show the data because of the unreliability of the, of the signal because it was in, of its inability to distinguish between aircraft noise and lightning and, and, and ranging etc. So through uh, signal, advanced signal processing we've developed a new system that can now allow us to show zero to 25 miles as well as all the way out to 200 makes a perfect complement to the strategic benefits of the data link and of course in the international market where data link is currently unavailable uh, it, we've added some additional features that make it a much more compelling picture uh, uh, to show lightning. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly now they're easier than ever to buy a complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. In this case here, we're showing the TWX 670 Lightning on an EX5000 and what you see is the color strikes and what differentiates it from previous generation systems the color is showing the intensity of the lightning and so you can quickly see where the more intense lightning is uh, represented obviously that's where the, the, the majority of the thunderstorm is building uh, also we have a feature called twix cell mode and what we've done is we've taken the algorithms for lightning and we build a color contoured picture of what the storm, what we know about lightning, we can represent the storm, the actual storm and its behavior. Here's an example. I will overlay the strikes on top of the color. Now we've got Twix cell plus the strike mode. Obviously when we've got the on overlaid, the, the uh, strikes are going to be monochromatic so we can see them better. But now you know exactly where the lightning strikes are but, and you can compare with the Twix cell that we've developed based on the algorithms we have so you know a lot more about what's going on with the lightning. The way this system is designed, it's got a rolling three minutes of the most current strikes, so we're always decluttering the older strikes and showing the lightning build over time, but it's a rolling three minutes. So you can see this cell will continue to morph over time. Now what kind of systems will this interface with? Uh, currently, the, the initial system was TSO'd and ETSO'd with our MHD 300, which is a three ATI display, a multi-hazard display. We've added the EX5000, which that package, the uh, TWX 670, with the Integra system, is on the Matrix, Piper Matrix airplanes, which are currently shipping. So with Release 7 software, we'll be able to get, we're getting monochromatic strikes now. We have the advantage of zero to 200 nautical miles, so we get that tactical benefit will have the color software, what you're seeing here, will be available later this year. Then for the EX500, our, our mark width uh, version of the EX5000, the same is true. We have version 3.02 software, which gives you the monochrome strikes now, mm -hmm. and then the color will be avail available later this year. And then additionally, what we've announced here at the show is what we call TWX compatibility mode. That allows the signal out of the TWX670 to play uh, it, it'll emulate a standard lightning uh, storm scope signal so we can uh, display on uh, third party weather sensors like uh, the 430 or a Sandell or some other displays out there without any software change to the uh, display. Aero TV is brought to you by 
Today, there is an affordable, high-performance, easy-to-own and easy-to-operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin-engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly, and fun to own. The jet for you. What kind of a development program was this? This seems to be uh, a bit of a different uh, approach to the matter than I've seen before. Well, interestingly, um, this product has been in development for several years. We, uh, as you know, we merged with the Ryan Corporation out of Columbus, Ohio, about a little over two years ago. And this product was already in the works uh, as part of that merger acquisition. And uh, of course, we took their, the, the 9900BX TAS products and, and uh, created the TAS 600 series of products. So that kind of took up a lot of our time. So we've kind of refocused now on getting this product to market. So it, we're finally getting there. What kind of uh, cost and in installation issues are there? The list price on the TW670 is 7995 we have some MHAS pricing that makes it more attractive when you couple it with one of our displays. The TWS670 is really easy to install. It's got built-in uh, spectrum analyzer capability, which allows you to uh, skin map the airplane much more easily than the old days and find the sources of noise in the airplane. It has a higher threshold of ambient noise, okay. so you can actually adjust to, uh, to have it filter that out for you and then we, it helps you more more quickly identify areas of noise so you can uh, eliminate them. I'll tell you what, I certainly like the display ar uh, architecture here. There's no question where the trouble area is and also where your escape routes are. So uh, the thing I like is you, about a 10, 10 second look here, you have no question about where you need to be and where you have no business being. That's really true and it's and it again as, as a complement to whether you have an onboard radar or whether you have satellite data link weather we can just cycle through the different overlays and look and compare. So, you know, the more information you have as a pilot, the safer uh, and, and uh, easier you can complete your flight. Tom, thank you very much. You're welcome, sir.